Hey Team Passion leaders, some of you are signing up quite a few coaches and you've got some people that are signing up their own coaches now. I want to give you some insight that is becoming very relevant for you as you build your businesses because you're turning into leaders. How exciting is that? Okay, so people are going to be bidding for your time, others not so much. Um, people that you sign up that want to build a business or at least talk about building a business, they may be bidding for your time at least at first. Here is how you avoid the mistake of investing <clears throat> your most valuable asset, your most precious resource, which is your time that you can never get back. How do you avoid investing too much time in the wrong people? It's real simple. When you sign up a new coach who wants to build a business with you, give them an assignment. Make sure it's something that they agree that they can do within a certain amount of time. Give them you know, a, a deadline. Do this by this date. Can you do that? Make sure because pe people have, uh, they have different availability. Some people have hours a day, some people have just minutes a day. So even if it's just a little a little bit of something, you want to make sure that you give them something to do that engages them in their business. And, uh, and also the other reason, other than it's going to help them build their business, is to find out if that person is somebody that you want to invest your time in. So give them that assignment, a deadline, call me by this day, this time, and let them call you. <laughs> you can call them, but don't always be the one to call them. Let them know they have to call you sometimes. And for one specific assignment, let them know to call you, that they have to call you. And if they don't call you, then you know not to spend a lot of time on that person. If they call you, then give them another assignment, another deadline, and do that a few times. That's how you build an incredible, strong foundation of a partnership with somebody to just build this business with. That's who you invest your time in. When you give uh, assignments out, and uh, I'll, I'll tell you right up front, there's going to be coaches that uh, say they want to build a business. They'll agree they can do this assignment by this time, and they're going to call you, and they don't call you. And you don't hear from them for God knows how long, if ever again. You don't want to chase after those people. Now, you know, a, a new person that does that once, maybe you can remind them once. Maybe you can have the conversation with them. You can let them know, look, you want to run with this, I'll run with you. You want to walk, we'll walk. I will match your efforts, but if you disappear, I'm probably going to disappear too because there's people bidding for my time, and i got to spend my time with the people who do what they say they're going to do. Does that sound fair? Yeah, that sounds fair. And if you get somebody who says, that doesn't sound fair, I'm offended, blah, 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 well, you just sorted that person out. So don't spend any more time with that person. If they don't see that as a fair thing, then they're obviously okay with wasting your time, and don't let it don't let it affect you ne negatively. Let it affect you positively as it should, because you just avoided wasting a lot of time. There's a lot of coaches who sign up coaches, and they're sort of brand new to phasing into a more of a leadership role, who who waste a lot of time on the wrong people, and they don't go through the sorting process very effectively. I mean, how easy is it to give somebody an assignment with a deadline? that they can agree that they can handle for their availability and to call you on a, on that certain day and time and then based on if they get back to you or not uh, you know where to sort them. You can sort them into the pile of coaches that they're really not worth putting your time into or the, probably the smaller pile of coaches that yeah this is the person that I want to spend time with and help build their business. So do that coaches. It'll save you a lot of time, energy, frustration and if you're at a point now where you just don't really have too many people bidding for your time that are worthy of your time, then focus your energy, your efforts onto finding more new people. Eventually, you will have so many people that that really will develop into a new logistical problem with you, a wonderful challenge to have to figure out how to effectively help all these people that are bidding for your time that are also worthy of your time and still build your business by looking for more more people to bring into your business. That's a wonderful challenge to have, and I want you all to get there. And a, a really effective way of doing this, guys, is, is sorting. Sorting doesn't, doesn't end once you get a prospect to either sign up or not sign up. When you get a prospect off your list, the sorting doesn't stop there. You're also sorting out coaches, too. You're sorting coaches from you know people who, who do what they say they're going to do and people who don't do what they say they're going to do. I know there's a lot of my own coaches who have this problem of uh, you know saying they're going to do something, they're going to get back to me this day, this time, I gave them an assignment, yes, I can do it, Tom, I'll get back to you, and I don't hear from them again. And you know what? I don't chase after them. I let them, I let them go about their business, and they're not building a business. And uh, if you're one of those coaches watching this, wondering why I've dis disappeared, odds are that's 
that's probably why. So if I've given you an assignment last week, last month, last year, or whatever, and you haven't gotten back to me, I haven't chased you, have I? So that's, uh, you know, whenever, I guess this is sort of my invitation to all of you out there too, when you're ready to do this, let's do this. Just uh, be ready. I'm going to give you an assignment and for, for two big purposes. I'm going to see if, one, if you're the person I want to invest my time with to build this business with you, and, uh, and two, the, the, the assignment isn't going to be just some arbitrary thing. It's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to have a purpose of helping you build your business. And it, it really does work, guys. My coaches that are building business are people that I hear from regularly. They, they do what they say they're going to do. They're consistent about it. And the coaches that aren't building a business, they're the coaches who are creating the setup to be disappointed in. And I'm sorry if that sounds harsh if anybody falls into that category. But when you say you're going to do something, you don't do it. There's no phone call, no communication about it at all then you're cheating yourself, you're robbing yourself of huge opportunity, and also it's not all about you. you. You disappoint other people when you do that, including me. So it's no judgment or anything like that. I'm not doing that to make you feel bad. If it makes you feel angry and invokes a positive action, then let that happen. But um, it's, it's up to you. Just when you commit to, to do something, follow through with it. And coaches, as you phase into more of a leadership role, use that sorting tool. Assignment, deadline, they agree they can do whatever assignment by by whatever deadline, however small it is, and then based on how they respond, if they follow through or don't follow through what they say they're going to do, you know where to sort that coach into a pile, a smaller pile of investing your time in, or a much larger pile of just let, letting them go, not chasing them, and just making sure they know that when they're ready, you'll be here to help them every step of the way. <sighs> That's leadership for you. It works. Let me know if you have any questions.